Hello, welcome back to the Mark Jannard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm gonna cover this virus slash cyber attack that's secretly infiltrating our iPhone calendar app. I'm gonna talk about what it is and I'm gonna also talk about ways we can protect ourselves. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So let's start. What is the most common iPhone calendar virus? I don't know. While hackers may have multiple ways to hack a device, the most common way to hack a calendar is through phishing. Phishing is a cybersecurity term to describe when a malicious hacker pretends to be a trusted person. They send you a link, often by text message, email, or even your iPhone calendar. When clicked, that link can do a handful of harmful things, like infect your device with, with a uh, virus, Give the hacker access to information on your device. Install ransomware, that's a big one, and exploit you for money. So is iPhone calendar spam dangerous? It's important to clarify what phishing viruses look like in your calendar. On the surface, iPhone calendar viruses originate from calendar spam. So essentially, someone with access to your email address was able to send you a fake calendar invite. That's weird. It may appear as spam when you see it, but don't take the invite lightly. The best thing you can do when an unrecognized person sends you a calendar invite is to number one, first delete the invite from your calendar. And number two, block the email address from which the invite arrived. To answer the question, in a nutshell, yes, iPhone calendar spam can be dangerous. It's always best to remove and block spam to prevent viruses and other online devices uh, security threats. So here's how to remove calendar spam on your iPhone. If you see a calendar invite from someone you don't know, it's best to uh, not just ignore the invitation. Remove instance and unsubscribe from the sender's calendar. This makes it more difficult for the same person to send spam to you in the future. And here is how to delete the spam from your iPhone calendar. So here are the steps, okay? We're gonna do this quickly. Number one, open the calendar app. Number two, tap the unwanted calendar event. Number three, select unsubscribe from this calendar at the bottom of the screen. Number four, to confirm, tap unsubscribe. Okay, iPhone calendar virus removal. So uh, how do you remove the a calendar virus from your iPhone, right? So let's discuss what to do if you accidentally click a phishing link and you believe your device may be infected. So first delete the initial calendar invite containing the clicked phishing link. Then unsubscribe from the original sender, right? as we discussed uh, in the previous point, so that no follow-up spam is sent to your device. Now, here is where you have to play close, close attention. Uh, you need to pay close attention to how your device behaves over the next few days or weeks. Are connections worse? Is it crashing frequently? You'll have to watch for signs over a long period of time to know if your phone has a virus. Just because you clicked an unknown link doesn't mean that you've installed a harmful virus. On the other hand, just because your device isn't immediately crashing doesn't mean it's safe. Fortunately, there are several signs that your device is infected. If you notice Safari pop-ups, apps that open or close on their own, or that your battery is draining faster than normal, you're, you likely have some form of malware. In that case, here are some of the things that you can do. You can perform a factory reset. This is why it's important to back up your important information to the cloud. In situations like this, you can reset your iPhone back to the factory condition. This can often remove the malware. Once reset, you can log back into your accounts and access the information stored in the cloud. Okay, take your iPhone to Apple or a reputable repair store. An experienced Apple professional may be able to help you restore your iPhone to its pre-virus state. At the very least, they will be able to help you confirm whether your device has indeed been hacked. They may offer advice about the state of your phone and their suggested next steps. So here's another thing you can do. Log out and delete your most important apps. 
gaining access to your iPhone is bad enough. You don't want to worsen the situation by giving hackers access to other apps like social media, your banking apps, and other personal apps. If you haven't already, log out of these accounts and delete them from the device. If you later restore or determine the device is now safe, you may add the apps back to your phone. This won't remove the malware, but it may prevent hackers from stealing other important information from you. So uh, iPhone calendar virus prevention, it's wise to be prepared. Even if you haven't been hacked or exploited by an online attacker, you can take measures to protect yourself against hackers and spammers in the future, right? So here are some best practices for iPhone calendar virus prevention. Delete and unsubscribe from meetings with people you don't know. Never click a link in the calendar invite that is from someone you don't know. Keep your personal and professional email addresses private so that you don't become a target for future hackers. Maintain strong online security software to protect against viruses and malware. Periodically check who has access to your calendar and remove unwanted and unknown users. So that is what I came up with. Do you have a better way to protect our iPhone calendar apps? I want to know your opinion. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.